Yo, what is going on? Today we're going to be talking about my favorite claw grip shapes and what shape might work for you if you are looking into getting any of these mice here. I'm going to have a link in the description for all of these mice if you wanted to pick up any of these mice right here. All of them are going to have links in the description so you can pick it up. This one I do have an affiliate code with for G Wolves. Uh, $10 off. You can get this mouse for a little bit cheaper than normal. But let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is I'm going to talk about the small mice here. This is the X2 Medium. It's not technically a small mouse but i don't have my x2 mini yet and it is considerably around like the same as an orochi so i'm just going to consider it a small mouse it's smaller for some people it's the reason why i got it i bought it from a guy who said it was too small for him so first we're going to start with the htx the htx is one of my favorite mice of all time uh 36 grand 33.95 nice tactile clicks i'm not really still still not a fan of these zippies they put in here but they they're good enough for my games I've, i haven't had any issue with them i have noticed a couple of qc issues after the month of having it right here like you like i showed you in my review there is a audible clicking sound me pressing down on the shell of the mouse and i have actually cracked the top shell I've cracked the top shell, kind of unfortunate by just pressing down on it, but this is what you get for a 36 gram mouse. So long term, it's still very, very, very durable. No side flex, no creaking. It's really good. It's a little bit more expensive than the average gaming mouse. I think every mouse here is sub hundred dollars. This one is $120, but I feel like for the, for the weight and the shape, it's probably the best shape for me. I did swap out the battery from the 75 milliamp battery to a 300 because it just died too fast. Two days wasn't enough. I think it died more times in game than I've ever had a mouse die ever, like ever. So yeah, swapped it out. It's now 42 grams. Uh, I also swapped out the scroll wheel for the white Orochi scroll wheel. It looks a lot cleaner. And I think that's about it. I took out the DPI button as well. So could be a little bit heavier, could be a little bit lighter. But 36 is good enough. It's some, some, some people say it's way too light. This would be my top recommendation for any medium to small hands. Uh, it's just just a great performing mouse. You get the full shell version. It's 39 grams, which, mo which most people ended up getting. They don't really like the honeycomb design. I wanted it as light as, pot as I could possibly get, so I went honeycomb. Next, we're going to talk about the X2 medium. I'm waiting on my mini to come in. But the X2 medium is what I have right now. I kind of custom colored it no, nothing crazy literally just black and white and then i did some weight cutting on the bottom so my copy is 47 45 grams somewhere around that weight range and it's it's an okay mouse i can see why people like the mouse uh but for me personally this hump here is this hump is way too big for me it's just a massive hump and I'm not really a fan of it. And the flat sides are, are, are too flat as compared to my HTX or even something like the Lamzu Atlantis being a really slim mouse while also being a little bit bigger. Where I do give the uh, X2 my like top five placement is that it is very comfortable after you use how flat the sides are. If you're coming from something like a G Pro Super Light or something like, if you're coming from like a G Pro Super Light, you won't notice how flat the sides are. So it's like, it's like an immediate shape difference sit like similar width in hand from a g pro yeah it's very similar in weight and size to a g pro this is my custom 42 gram g pro super light uh paint job is very scuffed i'm going to get a new shell and just have and have it be fully stock look it's very similar in width to a g pro the only issue that i have with this mouse is that the sides are flat other than that it's a really great performing mouse um battery life really good side side clicks very good it's probably one of my favorite mice shape if they tapered the sides in and made it flatter, which is why the HTX is my top shape. They're pretty much the exact same mouse. They're pretty much the exact same mouse, except the HTX is a flatter, slimmer X2. Next, we're going to get on to the G303 SE. Uh, this is probably going to be a surprise pick for a lot of people because it's a very not talked about mouse. It's one of my, It's one of my favorite shapes of all time. But this one is really aggressive. It's more for a forward claw. So you really can't play back and do a loose fingertip like I do with my X2 and my HTX. I do like a loose fingertip style grip. Makes it a lot easier to to control when I'm playing tracking based games. With this game, it's full. It's like it's designed for nothing but claw. 
but it's very comfortable once you find the four claw grip that works for you. It's probably one of the most comfortable mods I've ever owned. Uh, I'm planning on getting the original G303 data list, the one that everyone says double clicks. I found one for a really reasonable price. I might pick it up here soon. But I'm. this is like a mouse that stays on my desk with my HTX and my Atlantis. These are like three mice I, I don't let leave my, my desk. They're so good for absolutely no reason. I believe these have Omron 20Ms. Don't quote me. I'm not really familiar with the specs of Logitech mice. I just know that they're very, very, eh. They're not like crazy good. They're not crazy bad. They're just kind of like middle of the road, mediocre. This mouse is really only good because of the shape is insane. Battery life is insane. It's like a 500 million battery in here. I actually weight cut it. So mine is 63 grams. I put a lighter battery in here. It, it sounds weightless. Next, we're going to get into our larger mice. We have the pink Lamzu Atlantis, and we have the XM1. This is the original XM1. Um, I put, I'm putting these in the same category. They're pretty much very similar when it comes to shape, when it comes to price, when it comes to literally everything. The only difference is that the XM2WE is now out. So if you get a restock on that, I would rather go for the XM2W than the Lamzu Atlantis. That's because I find the XM2, or I find the XM1 to be a lot more comfortable to hold in hand than the Atlantis. The Atlantis has a little bit flatter sides, and I feel like that's something that not a lot of people talk about, that the sides are a little bit flatter. Everyone says it's a direct copy, but it's it's like 99% of the way there. I like the clicks, or I like how the side buttons are on the XM1. My XM1 is also a weight cut to 65 grams, so it's really close to the Atlantis, but it feels lighter because there's no battery in it. The XM or the Atlantis is an, just a, a great performing mouse. I wouldn't get this over the XM2W though. So when I do get my hands on XM2W, I might just shelf the Atlantis because there's no reason to use it when the XM2W exists. Just like when I get the XM2W, there's no reason to use the XM1 when the XM2 exists. But these are both great performing mice for my claw grip. I use like a very awkward, like loose fingertip claw. So like the back palm of mine doesn't really touch the mouse, but it's like a claw and I kind of like pivot with my wrist. And I just have one honorable mention. Honorable mention is going to be my Razer Orochi Striker Edition. This is probably one of my favorite mice of all time. This is another mouse that just stays on my desk consistently. I don't remove it ever. Probably... Mainly because the shape is so comfortable. Egg shapes are really good. I'm going to end up picking up a Fantech Aria XD5. Don't quote me on the numbers. All right. Well, that should be it. Thank you for watching this video. Um, I'm going to leave links for all these mice in the description below. So you can go check those out. And yeah, that's it. Uh, bye.